we're gonna do now is start getting our patterns for our side windows. Oh, we're gonna hand cut them all. We can act, we can use a plotter, but uh, on these windows, you want to try to get the edges up as close as possible. So you can do something that you call shave them, which is basically you run your blade all the way across uh, to get it to a nice factory edge. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's get this bad boy going. This will also kind of give you an overview on, on how to take the window. So. Uh, not necessarily just this window, but basically most most windows that are frameless like this. So like uh, the previous video when we were taking the, the the film off, check that out. We taught you how to um, how to trick the window so it actually comes up a little bit. So then that way you don't have to uh, have an issue tucking in all the film down there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay our film. So again, there's very mul multiple different ways to do all this kind of stuff. This, my way is not the way or the only way. This is just the way that works for me. This is just the way I do things. Um, I like to have a blade on the vehicle as least as possible. So just gonna trim this excess here. That way we're not fighting with it that much. And we're gonna take a, um, a sharpie marker again, because this is what I like to do. I like take I'll take a sharpie marker, just ride that edge. So then, after that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to, I'm gonna bring my, uh, then I'll just bring it up to the board, trim that off. So right now, basically, I got my basic shape of the glass. The reason we left this so big is, uh, like I was saying before, because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna trim this once we go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna bring it up to the board, take that edge, kind of trim it a little bit, and then, uh, and then we're gonna bring it back up here and then shrink it. So what I'm gonna do now is do exactly that. Bring it over. Follow our, our edge here. So that's right on the edge of this, this uh, uh, the frame right here. So obviously we want it to go down below the frame. So the reason why I did that is obviously that gives me where that edge is. So I'm just gonna go a little down below where I, um, where I drew that line. So that'll be the part that, uh, that tucks in down below. Trim that off, bring it back over here. Now that we've got that going. Tack our, our top. So what we're doing is we're tacking this top edge and we are creating a pocket down. Down in the center, we're creating all these fingers, and these are all the fingers that we're gonna we're gonna shrink. Make sure our gun gets nice and warm. Start up. I like to start off at the top and then just go nice and even all the way across. But again, I just like to make sure because I know a lot of people are, are like, that's not the way to do it, or that's not the way I do it, or whatever. Again, you do what works for you. This is how I've been doing it. I like to shrink the film all uniformly down. I don't like to shrink each individual finger. Is that the wrong way? It's not the wrong way. This is just my way and how I I feel comfortable doing it and how I like doing it. So, if you see I'm shrinking all the way across, all the way down. Getting those fingers nice and small.
Now when you're at the bottom, now you'll start to get those little tiny individual ones. And you just hit those. Go ahead and do a little bit of a second shrink on there just to make sure that we don't get any fingers pop up whenever we do the install and it lays down nicely. Right when we the squeegee is so we don't have to fight anything. All right, so after this, now that's already shrunk, that's already shrunk to the shape of the glass. After this, we're gonna put it back on our peel board. We're gonna go ahead and install it. When we install it, we'll go ahead and we'll show you how we squeegee it, lay it all down nice and flat, and then how we're gonna cut out all this excess trim.